What's good, y'all? Super Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out top ten longest WWE matches. There are situations and times where matches uh, can damn near be up to twenty five minutes plus, and depending on the stipulation of the match or what style of match or the story they're trying to tell, uh, sometimes it can be a, a positive thing for like a slow build to a, a epic conclusion, and then sometimes matches uh can tend to draw out longer than they should and uh be a little bit shorter and get more you know straight to the point so we're gonna check out some of these instances of uh matches uh being extremely long in length and time wise but i appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel road to 150k let's get right into this one man should be a good one what is the longest WWE match in history? That's what we're going to answer today. But to make this video interesting, we are not going to include any Royal Rumble matches okay. since they take up 80% of this list. Yeah. Seriously, the shortest Royal Rumble match is over 33 minutes long. With that, let's begin with number 10, Bruno San Martino versus Nikolai Volkov. Okay. Bruno San Martino Going might way be back. familiar to newer fans, but in the 60s and 70s, Bruno was the man in WWE. He held the WWE Championship two times for a grand total title reign of 4,040 days. Not two times, 4,000 plus days. That's ridiculous. Just insanity. But it was a different time back then when it came to wrestling and how champions held the, the title. Um, it, it was way different from back then to where it is now, but that's just ridiculousness. Not only did San Martino have lawn championship reigns, but he also had lawn matches. During Bruno's second WWE championship reign, he took on Nikolai Volkov. The two faced off at Madison Square Garden, and their match went on for so long that it had to be stopped due to the arena closing. Wow. Because of this, San Martino and Volkov's match ended in a draw and lasted a total of 53 minutes. Damn! <laughs> Hey, man, y'all got to hurry up, man. We about to close the building. Goddamn. <laughs> In the damn match. Damn. The two would be one-upped by number nine, Dean Ambrose versus Luke Harper. The 2015 Extreme Rules pay-per-view opened the Chicago street fight between Dean Ambrose and Luke Harper. It's not surprising, given the match type, that the fight didn't even start in the ring. After about seven minutes of brawling around the ringside area, Luke Harper and Dean Ambrose... I forgot about backstage. this match. Harper then got into a vehicle and drove off, with Dean Ambrose hanging out of the window. The show continued without Dean and Luke, but over half an hour later, the two came I back... I think I do remember this. Like, they, he, he literally drove off with the knee and they continued on and then they finally came back <laughs> changed back into the arena what? What? <laughs> oh, hey. they continued where they left y'all realize he wasn't driving so in the earlier clip this is him trying to get away right made their way backstage Robert right then got into a vehicle and drove off so he drove off but y'all realize he wasn't driving when he came back watch this Somebody else was in there. That's not him, because he was in the back seat. So, was that Dean Ambrose driving? I don't. Oh, hey. it's maybe that was. They maybe it was. Who knows, man? Maybe they just switched positions, or maybe they had someone else, some random person, decide to chauffeur them while they're beating each other in the back. Who knows? It could be, could have been Dean. <laughs> Left off and had a brutal fight. In the end, though, is the lunatic fringe who ultimately won. And now Ambrose hooking all oh, dirty deeds. Thanks to their car trip, this match ended up being 55 minutes and 45 seconds long. Wow. If Dean Ambrose and Luke Harper made a stop at McDonald's, they would have beaten number eight, Sean wow. Michaels versus John Cena. Three weeks after their phenomenal uh -huh. event match at WrestleMania 23, John Cena and Shawn Michaels locked up again. Their WrestleMania match had gone on for 28 minutes and 22 seconds, but their rematch went for a bit longer. The hard yeah, the rematch was fucking fantastic. Just fantastic. They literally let them go out there and just have at it. Break Kid and John Cena had another amazing match that was just as good, if not better, than the WrestleMania bout. Unlike Mania, Shawn Michaels came out on top after fighting for 55 minutes and Ridiculous. Seconds. That's crazy, but not as crazy as what you're gonna see at number one. Ridiculous. First, number seven, 
every Iron Man match. Yep. The Iron Man match is a match where the participants try to get as many points as possible. Wrestlers can win points by pinning and submitting their opponent. The time limit can vary, but the traditional Iron Man match goes on for 60 minutes. As such, we've seen several hour-long WWE matches, mm -hmm. like Kurt Angle vs. Brock Lesnar, Chris Benoit vs. Triple H, John Cena vs. Randy Orton, yep. and more. There is one Iron Man match that did go over 60 minutes, though, and that's number six, Shawn Michaels vs. Bret Hart. At the 12th WrestleMania, Shawn Michaels fought the WWE Champion, Bret Hart, in an Iron Man match. The two put on a physical and technical spectacle, but as the clock kept counting down, neither man had gotten a single point. Finally, after 60 minutes, the match ended in a draw, with the score showing 0-0 zero and zero for both wrestlers. Bret was happy to call it a night, but WWE President Gorilla Monsoon had the match restarted under sudden death rules. HBK finally got the better of the hitman and nailed Sweet Chin Music mm. to win the match. Even though Bret lost the title, he could at least relish in the fact that he had the sixth longest WWE match of all time at 61 minutes and 52 seconds. Jeez. That was impressive, but not as impressive as number five, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns tag team turmoil. Before they faced off at Fastlane, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns teamed up for one night in a tag team turmoil. I match. forgot about this Bryan too. And Reigns first had to face the Miz and Damian Mizdow. Thanks to the Miz's ego, the Fastlane opponents made quick work of the A-lister and his stunt double. The match continued with Roman and Brian taking on Reigns' cousins, the Usos. That's crazy. They were much tougher opponents, and it didn't help that Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan were butting heads. Despite that, the two managed to overcome the Usos and moved on to the third team. Los Matadors were out next. I forgot about them too. Challenge, Roman and Daniel took care of them much faster than their last opponents. The Goat and the Dog next had to defeat Slater Gator, <laughs> which wasn't much of a challenge yeah. at all. The fifth tag team. Was they were literally just going through tag teams. <laughs> JAG tag teams just getting, packing them out of there. Get them out of here, bro. That's, that's wild when you think about it. Was Except the Usos. The Usos run JAGs, but it's still, you know, it, it comes off like a bunch of JAGs. <laughs> Just another guy, tag teams getting getting beat up by two guys, two uh, main eventers. <laughs> It'd be so easy, though. Connor and Victor dominated Reigns and Bryan. However, the Ascension didn't know their own strength and got themselves disqualified. Roman and Daniel were still in the match, but they weren't looking good. And unfortunately, their sixth and final yeah. opponents were Kane and The Big Show. Despite now, these ain't JAGs. I mean, sometimes they can be, you know, depending on how they're booked. But, you know, we know Kane and Big Show. These are, you know, credible guys that obviously would take a lot of time to actually beat in a tag team. So, despite being in no condition to wrestle, Daniel Bryan and Roman Reigns somehow managed to hold on. Ironically, Kane and Big Show start fighting each other, and the Fastlane opponents manage to seize the opportunity and win the match. In total, the tag team turmoil match lasted 65 minutes Ooh, and 15 seconds. Ooh, Jesus, that's a long time to be wrestling. God damn. That's long. These next few matches got even longer. Oh, boy. Much longer. Like number four, Bruno San Martino. Uh oh. Versus Le Monsoon. Bruno back hey, on here. Bruno's back. <laughs> yes, during his first WWE Championship reign, San Martino set another record. During his show at Madison Square Garden, San Martino defended the title against Gorilla Monsoon. Despite multiple attempts, neither man would submit or stay down for the pin. Because of this, San Martino and Monsoon ran out the clock, and the match had to end due to a curfew. This caused the wow. match to end at one hour and ten minutes. That's. Ooh. <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. An hour and 10 minutes of wrestling. That's wild. Jesus. Kitty numbers when compared to what you're going to see at number one. Before that, though, number three, Bruno San Martino versus Pedro Morales. <laughs> back on here again. Man, everything Bruno did was long. Long title reigns, long matches, long... Well, let's not go there. During a rare outdoor Ooh. WWE event, Sam what you was about to say, bro? What you, what you was thinking of, bro? <laughs> Martino defended his title against Pedro Morales. Even though they were outside, the two future Hall of Famers still wrestled until the venue forced them to stop. Like before, the match resulted in a curfew draw and ended at one hour, fifteen minutes, and five seconds. Bro, when your matches have to end because the 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 place you're having it at the arena or stadium you're having it at they need to close they need to you know leave everybody needs to get out 
That's insanity. Jeez. Number two, Bruno San Martino versus Waldo Von Erich. Four months into Bruno San Martino's first reign as WWE Champion, he took on Waldo Von Erich in the main event of a show at Madison Square Garden. The two went on to wrestle for well over an hour, and, you guessed it, the arena was what stopped the match. Madison Square Garden had an 11 o'clock curfew at the time, wow. so the match ended in a draw. How long did the match go? One hour and 21 minutes. Jesus. That's the longest singles match in WWE history, but there is one match that was even longer than Jeez. that, which is is number one seven man gauntlet match on wow 2018 WWE fans tuned into raw unaware they were about to witness history the show started with a seven man gauntlet match roan reigns and seth rollins start things off and wrestled for 20 minutes the battle finally ended when rollins managed to pull a fast one on the big dog but the match was far from over john cena was the next participant and didn't even have to take his shirt off Somehow, the architect had just enough fight left in him to hit the stomp and pin the Invisible Man. Wait. And it only took Seth 35 When was this? I must have missed this. What the heck? Five minutes to get the job done. Cover, shoulders down. Right on step. He did it. Elias then entered the match, and thanks to Roman and Cena softening him up, Seth was in no match for Ezekiel's big brother. Elias pinned Rollins. Ezekiel. Unfortunately for Miz, the final gauntlet match participant was the monster among men. Reminding Miz who is next. I don't remember this. I don't know why. Among men. So Corey, <laughs> he tried to run away. <laughs> Look at him. Chris Axel and Bo Dallas helping him out, the Miz was no match for Braun The former Wyatt family member defeated the most musty WWE superstar to win the match. In total, counting the time spent during commercial breaks, this seven-man gauntlet match lasted one hour, 46 Whoa. minutes, and 55 seconds. Now, to see the shortest WWE matches, watch the video. Wow, damn, that's a, that's incredible, bro. I don't even remember that. I, I don't. That sounds like a pretty cool uh monday night raw to have all these guys going at it like that in that gauntlet match i don't even remember that you can say it's my age who knows but hey man this was this was a pretty cool video love videos that <laughs> bring out the facts in uh in wrestling bruno san martino is just he, he was just on a different level apparently out here wrestling for over an hour like on a consistent basis to the point where the venue says hey we got to go home. <laughs> Y'all got to stop this. This is crazy, man. So comment down below. Let me know what's your favorite, I guess, um, long style match, like matches that last over at least 30 minutes, 25 to 30 minutes. What's your favorite match that you can remember that was like at least 25 minutes plus or 30 minutes plus and you know it's just something that you enjoy and you can always go back and watch uh let me know down below but i appreciate all the love and support you guys showing on channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy to rest in the world appreciate y'all keeping me see you on the next one peace